Welcome, and here we go again. And today it's time for another random review. And today I'm venturing back into the Sylvester McCoy era for the first time. Now, if you've watched the channel before, then you might know I'm not the greatest fan of the Sylvester McCoy era. I find it very silly, I find it very childish, but in the worst possible way. Sometimes Doctor Who can be silly and, and childish and be charming or or fun, or exciting, or whatever. But in this case, in Sylvester McCoy era, I find it's, it's very stupid and, and, and very irritating, and I just hate it. So I'm not a fan of the Sylvester McCoy era. This Ghostlight is part of Series 26, which was a series which went for a much darker approach. And it's a very popular series within the fandom, I'd say. It's Sylvester McCoy's most popular, arguably the most popular series of the 1980s, and one of the most popular series of the classic era. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm not a great fan of series 26, I must admit. I like Curse of Fenric, I quite like Survival, and then Battlefield I, I really don't like. But, saying that, it is a vast improvement on the previous two series. It picks up on a lot of the flaws of series 24 and series 25 and, and, and takes a much a much better tone. But still, it feels very stupid, it feels very 80s, it feels very cheesy. It just feels really naff and dated and horrid, just in various ways. And sadly, Ghostlight's one of those examples. Ghostlight is quite a popular story within some factors of the fandom. But I also get the sort of understanding that it's divisive with a lot of people. Now, I've seen a lot of people love it, I've seen a lot of people confused about what the hell is going on, and I fit into the latter category. I just don't like this story, it just doesn't click with me. It's just really weak, really boring, really convoluted, and I think that's the main point. Now, a lot of people say you need to watch it more than once to understand it. I've watched it more than once. I have no idea what's going on. And that's not just because I'm stupid, which I am, but it's because it's just so bloody complicated in the worst way. It just doesn't make any sense. I mean, there's one point when a guy turns into a monkey and then shoots a picture of, of like, uh, Hitler or something. I swear that happens. It's bizarre. It doesn't make any sense. And I just... I just can't understand it. I don't understand what the fuss is about with certain parts of the fandom. Whether it's because it's unique, I don't know. I mean, I hate people who say they like things purely because they're unique. But it's just really convoluted. It's three parts long, so it's quite short, luckily. And uh, I prefer it when the Sylvester McCoy era stories are that long. But again, it suffers with that cheesiness and that naffness. The acting is dreadful, the writing is appalling, and it just feels so dated. Like, just feels so in the 1980s. Like, with Classic Who, Classic Who in general is quite dated, but it feels like you can still watch it, you can still put it on, you can still enjoy it, and it feels like it belongs in other time periods. Whereas the McCoy era just feels like it belongs in the 1980s, and doesn't feel like it can be watched at any other uh, point. McCoy, it, 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 his doctor is, you know, fine, but uh, and he does a good job, McCoy does, but the writing for him is just, you know, and they just, he just hams up his performance, and it's just so hammy, so stupid, and in the worst possible way, you know, that can be a good thing if it's done right, but it isn't here. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm really not a fan of Ghostlight. I'd go as far as to say it's my least favourite story from Series 26. And I'd argue that it's one of the worst stories of the McCoy era. Now, it's not Paradise Towers level. It's got some redeeming features, you know. It has a nice atmosphere to it. Um, even if the, the tone of the story isn't great for me, I feel like the tone is very... Even though it's quite macabre and, and horror-like, it's, it's very... Uh, silly and cheesy and naff. And, and that's really weird. There's just so many annoying little things. There's so many weird little elements. There's so many things that aren't resolved by the end of it. 
it's just a complete mess of ideas. It's really shoddily put together. I have no idea why people like it like so much because it's just an absolute mess. I don't know whether people like bad things now, but you know, it's just an absolute shoddy piece of crap. And I just hate it. I really do. And it's so self-indulgent as well. It's like the episodes crawling out and saying, look at me, I'm so good. I'm the best episode ever. But uh, it's not. <laughs> I'm, I'm sort of glad Mark Platt didn't write for the story because the script is so uh, self-indulgent and it, it loves itself so much because it knows it's doing something original and it knows it's clever. But it's not clever. It's just ridiculous. And oh, it's just a pain to watch. I mean, it's good to see some of Ace's history and to, to venture that side a bit more and to venture through the Doctor and Ace's relationship a bit more, as Series 26 does in general. But a lot of the ideas that could be promising at the start are really poorly executed. And it it's just no better than, than a lot of the McCoy stories. And it's just terrible. I just hate it. Um, as I say, it's better than Paradise Towers and things like that, but it's not quite Series 24 low, but it's still very low. And it's just poor, it's boring, it's ridiculous, it's stupid, it's camp, it's convoluted, it's self-indulgent, as I've said already, I've used all those words quite a bit, but it's just terrible. <laughs> I'm just going to go round in circles on this with you. I can't remember a lot of it, I've watched it twice, sadly that's two more times than I wish I'd watched it but yeah it's just it's not one I'd recommend but but a lot of people like it as I say no idea why but people do so good on them what do you think of ghost light <laughs> leave your thoughts in the comments below and now it's time to pick out my next review story right so here I have a box it's got loads of episodes in I'm gonna pick one out I'm going to review it next time. Let's hope it's a more interesting story than Ghost Light. Um, <laughs> hope you're all well anyway. I hope you're all staying safe during the lockdown. And keeping company. Maybe you've been watching along to the Doctor Who things. I've got a piece of paper here. I haven't read it yet. But let's see what's on it. Let's close the box up. Right. So, the episode is, this will be the one I'll be reviewing on Monday. It is Spearhead from Space. <laughs> 